40 Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Martial Master Asami Chapter 26. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And now we ain't sponsored by Shwisha. And now we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus. And now we ain't sponsored by Visit. Considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, it's kind of surprising, right? <laughs> but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little fighting kitty who is preparing for his next fight, and this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. And if you want to know what went down with Martial Master Asmi at Jumpfesta, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll find out. So, last chapter of Martial Master Asmi, we found out about Nao's um, rivalry with uh, Chihiro's daughter, um, Akome, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. I consider myself blessed to have encountered fencing. It was um, it has brought me uh, great personal growth. However, now that I've reached this level of success, I decided to lay down my sword to begin a new path of um, in life, my true ambition. And this chapter is titled Jeet Kune Do. Uh, conquering the world of mixed martial arts, uh, my life changed when I met a certain man. The princess, yes! The but Takanori is so cute! Oh my god, he's so cute! This is Takanori, as the Onda family has a history of serving the um, uh, Hanagasaki family. I, I would ask that Tuk um, Takanori be allowed to visit the manor in preparation um, for assuming his role upon graduating middle school. They're so cute! Oh my god! Fencing? Is a refinable art um, and a part of being cultured. I've been fencing since I was four years old. You should try it, Takanori. It's fun. Oh, Takanori tries so hard to be perfect in front of me. It's no fun at all. But with fencing, I'm certain he'll meet his match. Hmm? He's taking to it so fast. One moment, Takanori. Are you a beginner or not? At, fence, um, at fencing, yes. However, I've been studying Jikune's uh, Jikune's. Uh, Wait, Jikuni do since I was a child. I borrows from fencing, so while they're not the same, it's easy to pick up. Jikuni do? Um, what is that? The man who changed my life was Master Bruce Lee! Master Bruce Lee! Oh my god! So um the books uh what it says on the books is uh Tao of uh Jikuni do the essence of Bruce uh Lee's martial arts, uh Jikuni do uh Jikune, uh monthly uh fighter Jikuni do um uh the straight lead. Bruce Lee looks amazing. Okay, Kawada. I hope this is hand drawn and not AI. I am praying it is. I really oh, damn. Tell me on. You had to black. God damn you and your black filling can tear me on. Um, he's so wild yet refined. He's is he so cool? The um the Bruce Lee, the greatest action star in the history of mankind. He totally is. I know the Jackie Chan stands are quaking right now. And G oh my god, this is beautiful. And Jeet Kune Do um, was the style that Bruce Lee's, uh, um, Bruce Lee, a martial artist trained in um, Wing Chun, invented by incorporating the essence of many other combat arts. It's sad that boxing and fencing movements were a major inspiration to him. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's said that boxing and fencing movements were a major inspiration to him. Kawada, this is the art I have been waiting for from you. Thank you. Fi oh my god, finally. I'm getting what I want. Oh. Finally. The manga gods have, have heard my prayers. I am getting. I'm getting what I want. Do you see me, Takanori? Um, I started to learn Jikini do I, like my hero Bruce Lee. It's not exactly like the movies, but it's fun. And nunchucks are not part of Jikini do. Oh my! What is this? They're behaving like ruffians. That's MMA. Since Jikini do is a practical martial art, there are no tournaments. I saw it at a similar combat sport so I could gain more experience. Takanori, why do you care so much about getting strong? 
I would say to be ready in case of an emergency so I could be by your side and protect you, my lady, um, no matter what happens. Aww. However, troub troublingly, uh, your uh, diligence and determination have led to, um, to you outperforming most of those around you. It has been quite the task uh, to grow stronger than you. <laughs> I tease. Perhaps I thought that in the beginning, but at some point I found myself loving it. It's a shame. He's got real talent. He could leave his mark on the sport, but he won't go pro. Says he's got something else to do. Aww. My lady, what was that um, conference about? You're quitting fencing for MMA? Uh, why when you're an Olympic hopeful? I'm serious about this, Takanori. Tell me how many other fighters have, uh, have their own cage. I've already made plans to invite the best coaches from around the world. And not just for myself. You will study with me, Takanori. Dude! She did it for him! Aww. But why? Bruce Lee may be known for his cinematic strikes, but in the way of the dragon, he defeated Chuck Norris's karate master, Colt, with the guillotine choke. Yeah! Chuck, too! The Chuck Norris reference is even better! Oh my god! In the opening of Enter the Dragon, he deploys an arm bar while wearing um, a half-finger boxing glove. Uh, boxing gloves isn't this it's in his incorporation of various techniques that makes him a mixed martial artist there's some debate but many fighters consider him the father of mma um for the influences he had on the form is it not natural that i would follow my beloved hero master bruce lee down the same path dude kawada is trying to get the bruce lee fans hot <laughs> i want to know are you guys in love with the bruce leeness of it all as always, I must bow to your diligence. However, I plan to become the top woman fighter in the world. Woo! You said you would protect me, in which case you will need suitable strength and, um, and a fitting title, yes? I do want to mention this, because this, I'm, um, again, wait till, you're going to wait till the end of the video to hear um, what, uh, um, what, uh, the jump editor in chief had to say at Jump Festa, but something that I did see from uh, the Japanese fans in the chat was um, that they did like that Kawada was incorporating female fighters in um, a Martial Master Asami, and that's something that I have been seeing um, in um, in the Jump Red or not in the uh, manga Reddit as well. Is that they do like that uh, Kawada is incorporating um female mma as well so i'm glad so i'm glad that both um japanese and um, overseas readers are on the same page in regards to that i'm curious what you guys think um do you guys think that because of that um that this manga will survive that's partially why this manga is going to survive let, let me know in the comments you said you would protect me, in which case you will need suitable strength and a fitting title, yes? Dude, she got you there, bruh. And I do like that she not only is, um, I love that she's taking control of her own future like this. This is awesome. You must become a pro as well. Together, the two of us will strive toward greater heights. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, she's really making me think of Alice and Sh uh, Shokugeki no Soma. Oh my god, if you have read Shokugeki no Soma, which I did cover by the way, and I've met the mangaka, and they signed my plushie at, Jump, uh, at Crunchyroll Expo, um, is this is this kind of giving you Alice from Shokugeki no Soma? Like it is for me? Oh my god, it totally is. And uh, oh my god, together the two of us will strive toward greater heights and reach the pinnacle of our respective are um, arenas. Come along, Takanori. I am your servant. My lady's wish is my command. Let us dance this pause to do, for you also have changed my life. Aww. The day of the tournament. Here's a fight to see, folks. Ayako, her, um, her lady sharp, uh, Hanagasaki, enters the arena. Quite a show. Um, her second is the uh, Hanagasaki household butler, the winner of um, the Shugeki Beginners Featherweight Tournament. Uh, the G uh, the Jikunidu butler, Takan oh, wait, Takanori Onda. What's this? She stopped to scan the crowd. And there she is watching from the front uh, front row. Daughter of the legendary Chihiro Kurosaki. Yeah! And the current pillar of the women's MMA in Japan. Akome! Dude, I swear to God, we need Hidabaru to show up. We need, or oh, at least give us his daughter. We need his daughter. Or his, 
Dude, imagine if Hinamaru's son joined up in here and he fought Nito. It's only fair. Seriously, if we're going to get Jaharu's daughter, we need Hino's, uh, Hinamaru's son. Please, Kawada, make this happen. Oh my god, this manga would totally survive. And not only that, it would make so much, it would be so successful if you had Hinamaru's son up in here and fight Nito. Oh, please. Please, manga gods, make this happen. I knew you would be here, Akome Kunisaki. Defeating you is the greatest reward any woman in Japan could have. I love this. This makes me so happy as a Hinamaru Zuma fan. And, um, which I did cover, by the way. Um, there's a playlist on my, uh, on my channel for it. And I'm going to show you just, um, just what I am capable of. I must thank today's opponent for accepting. Though, uh, having watched her interview, I was certain she would... I was certain she would. I'm going to be the first to topple Okami, so she better not lose until I face her. We are two of a, uh, of a kind, are we not? Shugeki, ooh! Shugeki's women's division's new uh, shining star, now Kiba, versus her lady sharp, uh, Ayako Han uh, Hanagasaki. So for now, and they're both the same age, and they're roughly evenly matched, too. Um, I would say, yeah, so now has like a couple of centimeters and a couple of kilograms uh on uh ayako so ayako is like 162 centimeters and 52.0 kilograms while now is 164 centimeters and 52.2 kilograms ayako is unaffiliated now is obviously affiliated with yoshi's mma and ayako's pro record is three and oh and now's uh pro record is one and oh round one fight yeah let's go put the pressure on her get in close too far my lady knows distance her strength lies of footwork and spacing due to her uh her uh training and fencing in um jikuni do generally jabs and forward punches are used to uh discourage your opponent but jikuni do has um has your dominant hand forward it is a core principle of the art and based on bruce lee's own research into the um effectiveness of the of uh, the standard jab a knockout jab <gasps> i fight the straight lead oh my god oh my god i am finally getting what i want ayako um ayako uh Fonte Boop. oh my god oh my god okay this you know our zumo fans we are winning this this is what, this is what I have been waiting for from Kawada. This is what I remembered from Kawada. I, I'm getting, I'm getting the, the saber. I'm getting the flower petals. This is beautiful. I am so happy. I am so fucking happy right now. Oh my God. We got, we got the fish awards. The fish awards position. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is, this is so far the best chapter right now. I'm so happy. The vertical punch, because your body um, is turned to the side, the, uh, the jab's distance is great, uh, greater borrowing strength from the body's form. Ooh, Daramion, what is coming for you, man? Um, your fist reaches, um, reaches the opponent before your feet, so it carries your full weight as if hitting with your whole body. A knockout jab. Ooh, well, keep us down. First half of the fight, and Hanagasaki took her down. She jumped back at the last second. Yeah, it looked like she went down hard, but it didn't do much damage. The lady can see that, too. Hanagasaki isn't following up. She's waiting for Okiba to stand. Why did you accept this fight with so little prep time? Well, Akome Kunagasaki, um, well, sorry, Akome and Kunasaki's going to be there. And as for Ayako, she may be switching over from fencing, but she's got the potential to rise to the top. Also, this way we'll um uh we'll each each have a fight on the same day. Isn't that cool? Aww. I'll go first, and when I win, I'll carry that energy to your match. So make sure you watch me. Aww. As a veteran here, I'll show you how it's done, so you can face your fight without fear. She'll be okay. It's time to make our way. Um, with um with my strength, I'm going to keep on rising. Okay, I've adjusted for your spacing. Ooh, now Kiba, you will be a worthy opponent. I am so happy with this chapter. I am so happy with this chapter. I feel like we are going in the right direction with this manga. I'm s The only thing I'm kind of let down on, I'm not going to lie, is it took this long for Kawada to give me what I wanted, which was uh, um, the metaphorical arc. 
But at the same time, I'm, and this is where I'm playing devil's advocate here, is that Kawada wanted to wait until, um, like, post-pro match before we really got into the metaphorical art. God damn it, I really, really wish we would have had it sooner. I do, because this is, this is the art that I have missed so much from Kawada. Thank God. Thank God. And I'm glad, I'm glad we're getting the women's match first. I am. And, and remember what Nao just said here, that she's, that her, her fight here against Ayako is going to carry over to Nito's match. Oh man. Oh man. Kawada, you are getting me excited for, uh, for the art for Nito's match. Oh, that fight is going to be beautiful. Oh, that fight is going to be so beautiful. Oh my God. Let me know what you guys think of, um, of this chapter. Are you guys, especially in terms of Ayako, I love the Bruce Lee, um, uh, inspiration for Ayako. That really makes my life. And, um, I love that we're getting like the Alice realness going on, uh, with Ayako as well. It really does give Alice from Shotokeki no Soma. It does. And I'm not mad at it. I love it. I do. I know you could make the argument that this is just a Bruce Lee LARPer. I, oh, just, I want to know, do you guys think that this is a Bruce Lee LARPing in a way? Uh, kinda. Kinda, but she's making it her own. So I feel like it's kind of a Bruce Lee LARPing situation, but at the same time, eh, I think it's half, it's half Bruce Lee LARPing. It's halfway there. But anyways, in terms of, um, let's get to Jump Festa here. Um, but of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, what you guys thought of this chapter, and what you guys think about um, what Kawada is doing in terms of the art with the uh, visual exposition. I'm so happy with this. This is exactly what I wanted. This is the Kawada I remember. Oh, this is definitely the Kawada, especially in terms of the writing. I feel like we got the Hinamaru Zumo Kawada that, that all of, especially if you're, Hinamaru Zumo readers, this is the Kawada we all remember. Uh, seriously. But anyways, let me get to the Gem Festa stuff here. So, um, on, uh, it would be the 16th for, um, uh, if you're in Japan, and it was the 15th for uh, us here in the States. Um, in the Jump Studio uh, stream, there was a weekly Shonen Jump uh, roundtable um, hosted by Editor-in-Chief uh, Nakano. And Nakano, um, and that was to, you know, of course, promote uh, some of the newer Weekly Shonen Jump series. Well, the first and the one that Nakano spent the most time promoting was Martial Master Asami. I was so happy to see that. I was so happy. And one of the Japanese um, uh, fans in the chat because I did translate, um, of course, using like Google Translate. Because there wasn't, there was, um, there was quite a few people in there too. Um, I used uh, like um, DeepL and Google Translate to double check. But uh, quite a few people in there were saying that as soon as Nakano, you know, started promoting Martial Master Asami, that it did, it's, it was trending on Japanese Twitter, and a lot of people, you know. Are, I think a lot more people are going to start reading it now, especially cons uh, considering how much time um, Nakano spent promoting it, I'm, which I'm very happy to see. Um, after, I'm going to just summarize this real quick in terms of the rest of the uh, series they promoted. Because uh, it was, I'm telling you, it wasn't, they, he spent some time promoting them, but it was nowhere close to the amount of time he spent uh, promoting Martial Master Asami. Um, Following uh, Martial Master Asami, uh, Nakano did promote uh, News Exorcist, which is a series that he likes as well, um, followed by Kill Blue and Cypher Academy. And then this is where it got interesting. For the new, for the latest batch, I'm talking about like um, Kagurabachi, Mama Yu Yu, and Two and I. He barely spent any time on them. At most, it was like a, like 50 seconds to a minute or something like that. And for Kagurabachi, it was, um, I think it he, I think he kind of mentioned it for Mama Yu Yu as well. But for Kagurabachi especially, he mentioned how it was pop, more popular overseas than it was in Japan and that the Japanese readers need, he, that the Japanese readers need to catch up. So yeah, to me, it seems like, uh, 
I feel like all three series are probably going to get the axe. And man, the Baki Bros, the cover of Baki Bro, all right, the cover of um, Bachi Bros, yeah, they're gonna, that's gonna be, oh god, that meltdown is going to be amazing. But yeah, I, Marshall, uh, Master Asami Bros, we're, we're okay for now. We're, I think we're gonna survive the axe for a while, especially since the Kano promoted the hell out of, uh, out of Marshall Master Asami at, uh, Jump Festa. Um, especially since he, since it was the first series that he promoted, again, this was over New Exorcist Kill and Kill Blue, which have been selling way more than uh, Martial Master Awesome, mind you. I think Martial Master Awesome is going to survive, and it will survive for a while, at least in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, awesome content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.